Hello and welcome back to the Vintage Electronics channel. Today we're going to take a look at this TX406, a little Iowa Super Bass AM FM stereo cassette personal music player. This is probably from about the 1990s and it will not play, won't fast forward, and won't rewind. So I'm guessing that it's probably just got a perished belt. Let's see if we get this thing working and back to its former glory. Nice little personal cassette stereo that's got uh, AM FM radio and uh, cassette deck with super bass. You had to have super bass in the 90s. Uh, looks like uh, this one is held together maybe with just a couple of screws. So we'll get these screws out see if we can take a look inside and figure out what's wrong with this. I'm assuming both of these have belts that have perished, but uh, we'll find out for sure. Some of these can be kind of tricky to change the belts on, so hopefully these are a little bit easier than some of the Sonys we've taken apart. Apologies, it's hard. Give it a gentle little pry here. There we go. Got to break loose the uh, clips on the case here. There we go. So we got a couple of screws and a couple of clips holding the case together on this one. Get that in there and just gingerly pry that apart. There we go. Alright. And, yep, it is definitely a belt. The old belt is luckily not gummed up on the pulley, but it is wrapped up around this one here. Let's see if we can get all of that out. Those can be Kind of nasty to remove. The main thing with these is making sure you get every little bit of that old belt out of there because if you don't, that sticky, nasty belt will do nothing but stick to your brand new one that you put in. So after we get this out of there, we're going to have to make sure to clean that out with some isopropyl alcohol and really make sure we've got all of that gunk out of that belt channel there on that pulley. Looks like we may have gotten, well, no, that might be the last of it there. There we go. Looks like that might be all of it. I like to use a flat screwdriver in that groove to help kind of push any remaining gunk out of there. And then we can come back in with a swab with the isopropyl alcohol on it and clean that off. So let's get a swab here. Get some isopropyl alcohol on it. We're really going to get that down in there while we rotate that pulley. And that'll break loose that old rubber pretty good. I've had excellent results with isopropyl alcohol getting that residue out of there. Like so we want to make sure it's completely out of that pulley. Let's go to the dry side and see if we've got anything left. Looks like we're coming out pretty clean. That's good. Check this other one. The other one looks pretty clear. Yep, there's nothing in there. Alright, well since our old belt was complete toast, we'll have to find one that looks like it'll fit. I think that one will do the trick. Get that around there, around our pulley here. Yeah, it looks uh, looks perfect. Not too tight, not too loose. Everything looks good in there. 
Looks like we've got a little bit of the old belt hanging out inside that case. We'll get out of there. All right, let's see if we can get this snap back together. Get it over that volume wheel. All right. So that's all of those in. Let's get our screws back in the back of it. Then we'll clean the head, check out everything inside. Make sure that's nice and clean. And then we should have this one back to running. Hopefully it's this easy repair. That would be great. A lot of times we end up taking these apart and replacing the belt and then finding out there's something else wrong with them. So maybe we'll get lucky this time. All right. Go ahead and throw some batteries in here. Put our clip back on because you got to have your belt clip. All right, we've got a clock flashing. Now this is an auto reverse deck. Looks like we do have motion there. We got rewind. We got fast forward. All right, let's get another swab and we'll clean that head. Make sure it's good to go. Don't expect it to be too dirty. No, nope, actually, that looks pretty good. Clean that cap stand on there. Those do tend to pick up some gunk. Dry that off. All right. Yep, I can hear the tape fast forward, rewind, play. Alright, looks like we got that one done. Alright, well we got her going. Hopefully this helps you out if you've got a similar personal stereo that won't play or fast forward or rewind. Hopefully we've uh, showed you that it's pretty easy to get those belts changed. If you have any questions or you need more information or if there's anything else you'd like to see, Please drop it in the comments down below the video and I'll be happy to get in there and uh, chat with you and see what we can figure out. Please make sure you subscribe to the channel. It really, really helps me out. And like the video if it helped you. And we'll see you next time.